Alright, guys, you're streaming. Ha! I wish there was like a better way for me to know if I was streaming or not. Anyway, this is Matt with Heroic Tactics, and this is just another one of my diaries. Uh, what's going on? Um, well, uh, last week was the PDC in my town. I totally missed the cut. I was number five. Uh, when I saw like the, the results afterwards, you know, my, uh, my score was like 0.04. Zero point zero zero four less than the fourth place person, but that was when it was all final because the one person that beat me um, was made it all the way second place. So I guess that's kind of cool. That kind of upped my score. But I think live it was probably maybe not a huge of a gap between me and fourth, and me and the semis. But uh, I was definitely close to winning it all, or not winning it all. I was definitely close. Um, but uh, yeah, I kind of kind of bummed about that. But I'm gonna go try to travel to some other PDCs and see if I can place better. You know, man, that mat is gorgeous. I really want to win one so I can play on that mat. I think it's gonna be uh, totally totally above with that. Um, Sat that was the PDC was Saturday. Sunday was the casual game at Mothership Books and Game where I am the TO. TO. Um, the theme was one card from every one of the Dice Master sets that's been out so far. And the team that I made together, so in case that was the buy, um, was based on the idea of the uncommon Ant-Man and the vampire, the 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 four cost one from the starter set. Uh, that, that the vampire says energy drain. You know, in the first time the attacking vampire damages a character, gain two life, then draw a die and place it into your prep area. Um, now the vampire has got rinky dink attack values, so like. Uh, People will be like, "Wow, that benefit of block is that benefit. That benefit you get from me blocking is sick. I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm gonna eat the one, two, two, you know, for attack and just be cool with that." Well, that's where Ant Man comes in. Ant Man says he gets plus two defense on attacking. I'm never buying him. He's cheap enough. I could totally buy him, but his global says pay a fist to switch the attack and defense values of one of your characters. So the goal was I get an ant, an ant uh, vampire who's a 4-4-6 four, four, for his defense values. And I swing and I'm like, okay, so you have your choice. You could either block and let me spin all your stuff down and gain life and prep dies and stuff like that. Or you can say, I'm not going to block and then I'm going to use a fist to make the switch, swap the values and let, just let his defensive, his high defense just wreck you for a bunch. So like keeping in mind, well, first of all, because I'm using Ant-Man, I can't PXG, so I need some ramp. So uh, I use Nasty Plot as one of my actions. And just to get it out a little faster, I use the Yu-Gi-Oh! Thousand Dragons, uh, it's the rare? Yeah, the rare global, which essentially is the Red Dragons global, except you don't do any extra damage. It just lets you buy the next action dice, you buy it by minus two. So that let me get a Nasty Plot first turn for three energy, which is pretty cool. Um... I needed some creature elimination, some, some removal, so I ran the Deadpool Jack, uh, the five cost fist. Um, because one, I can, when he attacks, I can declare a blocker and at the end of turn KO that blocker. But more, uh, so that, that's my targeted removal. But more importantly, he's a 2 4, a 2 5, and a 3 7. So if, if there's ever a time I just wanted to go through, you know, I can totally swap out his defense and hit for a bunch. Um,. Again, because I wasn't using Professor X, I needed to really cycle through my sidekicks, so I ran the Uncommon Red Tornado. Uh, he says at the beginning of your draw, uh, when active, if you draw three or more sidekicks during your clear and draw step, you may put all the sidekicks into your use pile and draw four more dice. So that let me click through my stuff really fast, so like, pretty much, you know, and it's a four cost, so I think I can buy it easily first turn. So it's like first turn, grab a, a nasty plot, second turn, buy, grab a, a blue tornado, and if I'm lucky enough to, to grab him and field him, I'm just cycling through my psychics really fast and getting my stuff pretty cool. Um, I never bought him, but I wanted to use him. I keep trying to use him. This is uh, the starter set Lex Luthor, the one that says if you have more life than your opponent, which theoretically I'll be getting from my vampire dealing damage through carrying char characters, I could like draw an extra dice at the beginning of my turn. And I just couldn't get him to work it out. Um, so yeah, he was definitely a good idea. Something that I did get to work out was Kingpin. This is one of the starter sets. This is the one that's a uh, payback when Kingpin, Kingpin, 
When Kingpin takes damage, he deals target opposite opponent one damage. So I'm like... So, like, yeah, so, like, it, he, he's got a really high defense, and uh, I can help d get an extra damage, because people are like, well, whatevs. Taking one damage by blocking is better than taking three, four, or five damage. So they're they're cool with that. Uh, he also has a high defense, but and I I used him so I could hopefully recycle nas nasty plots. It is Baron Zero Zemo Thunderbolt, where you pay a generic energy each time you use an action die, and you put it in your prep area. So there's and then he's got a high defense. I never bought him. I couldn't nasty plot and uh, Red Tornado was working well enough as, as, as was working well enough on his own that I didn't need to do it. Uh, then finally, I have Resurrections, my um, last action, just because um, I don't have a lot of ramp. No PXG. Uh, luckily, all my opponents were running PXG, so I was able to, or my first two opponents were running PXG, so I was able to, uh, you know, just play normal, <laughs> play with PXG. <laughs> when you play with PXG, when you play in a game without PXG, when neither of you have PXG, it like goes back to the Stone Age. It's, it's like, oh wow, remember when we could only do like four things at a time, or Draw four dice. Not fun. Um, I I did get a chance to play Dennis. Dennis came in second on my P, the PDC that uh, we had at Mothership Books and Games. So it was like my first time playing him because uh, he's a, clearly a really good player, and uh, I am um, do the buy rounds. Uh, but he he came to my venue. We had this really weird situation. Just the way everything turned out with our we had a pretty Rinky and Ink attendance. We had like only five people show up, and um, I'm I'm kind of worried because uh, we just had like a bunch of competitive events at my venue, but we're not really a competitive uh, venue. I'm not trying to make it a competitive competitive venue. I want people to come and have a good time, and we have another venue, the venue where we had the PDC on Saturday that we can totally get competitive and cutthroat at. Where I'll go play competitive and cutthroat. But I want people to come to Mothership and have a good time, how to play the game, you know, and just, so yeah, I'm kind of worried that maybe I might have scared away some of my more casual players, just the this, this string of competitive events that I ran lately. Uh, if you are one of my casual players, I'm not going to be doing competitive events all the time, it's only going to be once a month, and it just seems like a lot, because like, we had the Pro Dice Circuit, and then we had My Little Cup for the, the, the Gravity Feed. And then we had Christmas vacation, so nope, we didn't really do anything. And then we had the Little Cup for Zarina, so I can get some fancy cards into the hands of newer players, so that when we start playing competitively, when they start playing competitively, they won't feel as intimidated. But, uh, yeah, there's that. So that that's my casual team. I'm hoping that this uh, sudden drop-off in attendance is just because of people still not getting back in the swing of thing after the holidays and stuff like that. Um, I promised y'all, I uh, had two videos, or three videos, the last, the, my last diary, and, um, I don't think it's gonna happen. I just, I just recorded one, we'll see if I can edit it and get it up there. And it's kind of like advice for beginners, so, uh, or the best piece of advice I can give to a beginning player is what it is. And I'm, I hope to have it up there pretty soon. Um, I will work <laughs> next week, maybe. Oh man, I'm training for the PDC, so it's like I spent all my time playing and not enough time filming and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I'll be working on a video. Um, the best piece of advice for intermediate players, people who've been playing for a while and stuff like that. And then I got a video comparing and contrasting two very excellent methods of removal, both of them that I'm kind of fond of. Uh, I've got a video where... Um, or I got a video idea coming up where I, I talked about this one global... That is super, super, super gross good, but I hate it because it's so good your opponent can use it against you. And we'll talk about that and I'll be like, well, this is why I don't recommend this global. Um, oh, and I thought, thought about this thing. is like, we're all explored. The rumor is, is that there's going to be, uh, what is the word? Rotation. A set rotation that's going to cost us uh, 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 Avengers vs. X-Men, uh, Uncanny, and possibly Yu-Gi-Oh!, so I just kind of wanted to highlight some of the cards I would miss from this set, or a card or two that I'll miss from a set, and if they rotate, um, I honestly, I don't, 
think rotation is good for the overall game, especially when people are like, especially when new players just look at these old cards and in their head, they're power cards. And maybe you know that they're not power cards and that if you look at the PDC, they're not, a lot of them aren't showing up. And But you just, it's a psychological advantage when you, when people go, oh, I need a $60 card to compete. So like they kind of don't like that and they kind of get turned off by competing. So I'm 100% in favor of set rotation. Um, and plus I think it's gonna happen anyway just because uh, it makes business sets set. While your people are buying the more powerful sets, uh, some of the perceived weaker sets are, are being ignored. So the more recent ones that people, that I guess are more balanced, but uh, not as powerful as the older sets are being ignored. So while they're doing that, uh, WizKids isn't moving products, so they want to move that product so that stores will buy more product from them. So, uh, yeah, set rotation is going to happen. Uh, I'm sorry if you don't think that's the best thing, but I, it's good for the game, it's good for new players, it's good for the retailers, so it's going to happen. But yeah, I'm going to miss some of these cards, so that's what I was going to get at. Uh, I hope we can get some really good substitutes for them, but I'll talk about that later. That'll be a new series I get going on. Um... Thank you for watching, especially if you're watching this on Twitch. Um, uh, I've been having some problems. So I don't even know if anyone's watching. I don't even think I'm live. Oh, I do have a watcher, so thank you. Oh, awesome. Uh, let's see if there's any questions. Oh, no questions. Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. Um, I'm going to try to do this more regularly. This was kind of a last-minute thing because I plan on traveling for the PDC, and I need to get ready for that, so... Uh, yeah, uh, if you see me at the PDC, say hi. Oh, if you're definitely, if you're a Texas player, uh, we have a, a Texas Dice Masters Facebook group. You should totally join it, especially if you're like a tournament organizer. So you can be like, hey, look, come play at our venue. We're having a really fancy event. Like I believe uh, Aerostar Games talked about their special win an entire set of Spider-Man events that happened last Saturday. And uh, I think we were kind of, I think we're all aware of it because it showed up on the Texas Facebook page. So it's really good for that kind of stuff. So, um, oh yeah, please.